Hi, welcome back. My name is Seth, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up VPN, um, RAS, RS on your server. It's fairly easy. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and begin by clicking on Role. We're going to add a role. We're going to hit Next, and here we're going to add Network Policy and Access. Uh, services. We're going to hit next, next, and from this list we're going to choose network policy server and we're going to choose RS, which is routing and remote access service. This is used for your clients to VPN into their network, uh, corporate office, home office, whatever. So we're going to hit next, we're going to click install, and we're going to let the process take place. Okay, so we hit close and we'll come down here. As you can see, it says network policy and access control. So we'll click here and click on the plus. So right now, there's a red down arrow that means it's not configured. So what we're going to do is configure it. We're going to right click and say configure and enable policy. I'm going to hit next. So we're going to use this custom configuration. And here now we have access to. Uh, uh, multiple choices so we're going to click on VPN we're going to hit next we're going to hit finish let it do its thing that's fine click OK and we're going to hit start service it's going to go through and start the service alright so supposedly the service is started and as you can see the it's the arrow turned to green and it's pointing upwards now. So, um, so first thing we need to do is we're going to click on ports and we're going to right click and say properties. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to do point to point um, uh, tunneling protocol, the PPTP. So, I'm going to go ahead and disable all the other ones because I don't need it. I'm just going to verify the first one is fine. PPTP. Here you can say how many connections you want people to uh, use at the same time. If you have a small company, you have 10 people, you can choose 10. If you have you know, a big company, uh, it has 10 people or 100 people or whatever. As you can see, the maximum is 128 ports that you can uh, enable. So for our testing purpose, I'm just going to say 5 ports because you know, for security reasons, I don't want too many people coming in. So I'm going to click OK. That's fine, hit yes. And here we're gonna set this to zero. And we're gonna uncheck these. Yes, set this to uncheck this. Set this to zero. And as you can see, we only have connections. Click OK. So we're gonna come here. right click properties so within the DHCP relay you have to sp specify the uh, DHCP server within your company because you want people to automatically get an IP address so we'll add that Now, once you do this, then you have to come here on remote access logging and policies. You right click and say launch NPS, which is network policy server. And under network policy, you have to enable the first one, which is connections to Microsoft Routing and Remote Access. You double click it. Say Grant Permissions. Click on Conditions. Click on Add. And we're going to add a group. 
and the group we're going to add is the domain users or whatever group you want to specify and you want people to uh, from that group to be able to um, VPN in. Obvious choice is domain users. Um, click OK. And click OK. And there you go. And click up. Apply. Click OK. And once you do that, close it. Then you have to right click on this. Go to properties. Make sure log all events. And that's it. This is how you set up your um, VPN. And then you can test it by creating a whatever users you have created within your Active Directory. And use that account to VPN in. And that should work. Obviously, you have to make sure that your router um, passes through PPTP traffic, um, whether it's your home router or professional Cisco-based routers, you got to allow VPN uh, traffic to go through. And so uh, once you do that, and then you can use any accounts, um, and you should be able to uh, remote in then. And this is how you set up remote access server. Thank you.